Hey, this is Jack from GroovyPost.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Wii Remote to control your mouse in Windows 7. Now, this will work in any application in Windows, but it's particularly useful in PowerPoint. Before we begin, you'll want to make sure that you have a Bluetooth receiver, either built into your computer or attached as a USB dongle. You also need an application called GlovePie and um, a script for GlovePie made by Office Labs that's specifically designed for controlling PowerPoint with the Wii Remote. Um, you can find all these at GroovyPost.com. The first thing you'll need to do is to sync your Wii Remote to Windows using Bluetooth. To do this, go down to your system tray and right-click on Bluetooth devices, and then click Add a Device. Now Windows will start trying to detect any Bluetooth devices that are discoverable. So what you want to do is take your Wii Remote and pop off the back battery cover. And there you'll see a little red button. Go ahead and press and release that once, and the blue lights will flash showing you that it is trying to sync. After a few seconds it'll show up in the Added Device dialog. Go ahead, click it, click Next, and choose the last option, Pair without using a code. Now Windows is going to try to install the drivers for the Wii Remote, which it should be able to do automatically, though it may take a few moments. To make sure everything's good, right-click Bluetooth Devices and click Show Bluetooth Devices. Once it installs successfully, it'll show up as Nintendo RVL CNT. Now all you need is a Wii Remote sensor bar. Now, you could use uh, one of these guys here that came with your Nintendo Wii, but the only problem with that is where you're going to plug this guy in. Luckily, the Wii Remote sensor bar isn't exactly sophisticated technology, really. It's just uh, two lights that are stuck in a piece of plastic, which means you can take any two light sources, put them a couple of inches apart in front of your monitor, and there you go. Open up the script that you downloaded from Office Labs and GlovePie and click Run. If the Wii Remote is connected correctly, you'll see that the first and fourth LEDs are lit. If everything's good, you should be able to control the mouse. Point at the screen to move your pointer and push A to left click. You can use the Wii Remote in any application. It's a little hard to control, but it works. and to right click you can push B which is the button on the back of the Wii Remote. Now because the Wii Remote is so hard to control it's best used in PowerPoint where you don't have to use a lot of subtle gestures. The script that we're using from Office Labs turns the pointer into a laser pointer. You can advance the frame by flicking the Wii Remote. go back a frame, you can hold 1 and flip the Wii Remote. And you can zoom in by pushing plus, and zoom out by pushing minus. For now, this is really the best application for the Wii Remote in Windows. Um, you can use it in other applications like Paint. Um, you can use A to use one color. You can do some drawing here. Or we can paint in the other color using B. But as you'll see, it's um, not very precise, it's kind of jagged, and you're definitely not going to make any works of art here. So that about wraps up how to use the Wii Remote in PowerPoint and other Windows applications. Um, for the time being, it's not super useful, but um, if you're looking to impress some people who like the idea of using a Wii Remote for something other than its intended purpose, then um, this tip's for you. For more information on PowerPoint, Office, and other Groovy tips, check out GroovyPost.com.